Let's be honest, Mercedes and Aston Martin have had a pretty average season. If you're a Mercedes fan, you would be pretty disappointed with the team's ability to compete. However, you would not be disappointed with the team's effort and camaraderie throughout the season despite all the hardship and it finally felt like Mercedes were turning it around. Well, not quite. The latest news coming out of the FIA might just throw a spanner in Mercedes and Aston Martin's plans. Alonso and Hamilton may have a love-hate relationship, but both of them will probably be looking to put this season behind them, with both of them struggling with the reliability and drivability of their respective cars. Mercedes finished the 2022 season without a Formula One Constructor Championship for the first time since 2013, but it's what they did accomplish which stands out. Red Bull's 17 victories throughout the 22 race 2022 season led them to their first Formula One Constructor Championship since they won four in a row from 2010 to 2013. And it ended Mercedes' eight-year streak atop the standings. Ferrari also finished ahead of Mercedes, something which hadn't happened since the 2012 season. But despite a disappointing 2022 season for the Silver Arrows, it's actually what they did do, which illustrates just how strange of a year it was. Toward the midpoint of the season, it seemed as though Sky Sports pundits such as Damon Hill were predicting Mercedes 1-2 finishes every week. Sergio Perez, and there goes his yeah. front wing end plate. You saw it uh, move over. To, to the point where it was almost like a running joke when they'd once again come nowhere close to winning. In race 21 of 22, however, the Brackley-based team actually pulled it off, with George Russell winning the Sao Paulo Grand Prix at Interlago Circuit ahead of Lewis Hamilton in second place. That 1-2 finish meant that they finished the 2022 season with more 1-2 finishes than they did in 2021. As crazy as it may seem, Mercedes did not record a 1-2 finish during their eighth consecutive Constructor Championship winning season in 2021. In fact, the only team that did was McLaren. Their their one-two finish in the Italian Grand Prix at Monza was their lone win of the season. They finished in fourth place in the constructor standings. Mercedes won nine of 22 races on the 2021 schedule, but they only needed to win one in 2022 to do what they couldn't do last year. Mercedes' one-two finish in Brazil was their first one-two finish in more than two full years. They hadn't recorded such a finish since the 2020 Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Mercedes has done all it can to make sense of the problems of the W13. James Vowles therefore thinks the German team will come back stronger next year. Mercedes' poor form at the start of the season came as a surprise to everyone. While Red Bull Racing and Ferrari were competing for the title, Mercedes had to watch with a big gap towards the top. However, the team has been busy developing the car further, leading Mercedes to better results, especially in the closing stages of the season. In Brazil, for instance, George Russell won both the sprint race and the main race. Now the Mercedes breeze past the Alpine on that particular occasion will have been... If you look at the direction moving forward, the gaps to the front, especially on race pace, we made huge amounts of progress and you only do that by understanding where your problems are, working on them and working as a team, Vowell said. During the season finale in Abu Dhabi, however, it again became clear that there is still a gap towards the two top teams. Lewis Hamilton crashed out of a race for the first time since 2018, while Russell crossed the finish line with a large gap towards winner Max Verstappen, so Mercedes knows there is still a lot to be done in the coming months, but the team is confident about the new season. Is it enough to win next year? The confidence we have is that we now have our tools in the organization producing performance. There's still a void though, and Abu Dhabi really showed that. That has to be caught up across the winter, and I think we have a very good process and system in place to do that. That development that you saw across the season will continue across the winter. I think we'll be in a very strong place next year, the Mercedes engineer ended. Fernando Alonso is eager to work with Aston Martin over the winter, having spent some time with the team in Abu Dhabi. Aston Martin's trajectory throughout 2022 was generally positive, but the British squad will need to make further improvements to fight near the front. Start from him. Look how Lando Norris not feeling 100% today. The team's objective will aim to fight at the front of the midfield, although Fernando Alonso has made it clear that there is great ambition within the team. Next year's AMR 23, Aston's second car for these new regulations, will have significant input from former Red Bull engineer Dan Fallows. The Silverstone-based team poached several engineers from Mercedes and Red Bull, so there is an expectation that progression is imminent. Speaking after the Abu Dhabi postseason test, Alonso discussed his outlook ahead of 2023. We need to work hard this winter, including a lot of hours in the simulator, learning all the steering wheel controls and procedures. They are very different compared to what I'm used to. 
I have to practice them until they become automatic in my head, in my fingers, so I arrive in Bahrain at 100%. Next year's car will be very different compared to this one, so any feedback that you get from this one is not really relevant for when we drive the AMR23. But I saw some different philosophies around setting up the car, developing the car, as well as managing the power unit. There are many things that you get initial feedback from. We will have to sit down and try to get the best out of everything. You can feel the energy in the team and how motivated everyone is. I can't wait for next year. I felt a very special atmosphere in the garage. Aston Martin has failed to meet its ambitious targets in previous years, so they have an opportunity to raise eyebrows and make a statement of intent in 2023. Now, this all appears amazing for both Mercedes and Aston Martin. One team saying they have sorted out the problems that have been plaguing them all season and the other confident they can outperform this year. But it looks like they will need to contend with yet another bump in the road, as the extreme aero ideas introduced by Mercedes and Aston Martin this year have been banned for the 2023 Formula 1 season. The innovative concepts involving the Mercedes front wing end plate and the Aston Martin rear wing have been made illegal through changes in F1's technical regulations. Both concepts raised eyebrows when they were introduced because while fully complying with the wording of the rules and being deemed legal by the FIA, they appear to go against a broad concept that car designs to increase performance did not make it harder for cars to follow each other. Mercedes radical front wing end plate first appeared at the Miami Miami Grand Prix and featured a unique design in the intersection between the flap section and the end plate. This was done in order to try to recoup some of the outwash that was lost with the new regulations. The flaps had been swept forward very aggressively in the outer section, so the rear lower edge of the end plate was completely detached from the flaps. Meanwhile, Aston Martin came under the spotlight at the Hungarian Grand Prix when it introduced a rear wing design that appeared to break one of the key intentions of the 2022 rules. Its design featured a unique arrangement on the front portion of the end plate that allowed the main plane to butt up to it in a more traditional way, thus increasing its span and the downforce that can be generated. The new regulations had hoped to bid farewell to the traditional end plate and wing interaction of the past with a curved transition between the elements. This was designed to reduce the strength of the tip vortex, thereby limiting airflow disruption and helping in the overall goal of making it easier for cars to follow one another. While the FIA was happy with both concepts to allow them to be used this year, formal tweaks have been made to the 2023 technical regulations to ensure that the grey areas that allowed them have been tidied up. The FIA's single-seater technical director, Nicholas Tombasis, said, Obviously, this year they were both legal. The regulations have changed on both the front and the rear in different ways to stop those solutions. Despite the Aston Martin idea now being banned, its performance director, Tom McCullough, said he was still proud of the fact that his team had created something so bold amid the restrictive 2022 rules. What do you think will this affect Mercedes and Aston Martin?